has a lot of talent and a lot of potential. We're gonna do this. We're gonna give her a shot in the UFC. The most intoxicating word in the world of mixed martial arts is potential. Every fighter starts out with a clean slate and lofty dreams. But fight by fight, the talent pool shrinks. And only a select few will rise to the top in the UFC. You've done your part so far, growing your fan following while earning the respect of your peers in the octagon stamping yourself as a fighter on the fast track to a championship. But even now, it's clear that this taste of success will either push you to greater heights or send you tumbling, making your winning streak a distant memory. Which path will you choose? a legend in the UFC, a fighter needs someone to push her to be great. McGregor had Diaz, Jones had Cormier, and Silva had Sonnen. Each series didn't just pit the best against the best, but it matched up rivals that had personal scores to settle. And when the octagon door shut, the bad blood reached a boiling point. Who will be the one to step up and put this feud to rest, or give up bragging rights once and for all.
Well, she's... Whoa! Oh! Fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. All right, coming up next, it shall be done with the title between Roger Cadillac and Carolina Kovalchuk. must eventually cross. And as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition, it was inevitable that this moment would come. When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, 
there can only be one winner, a queen with two crowns.
Greatness is a feat chased by many, but achieved by few in the UFC. To get there, it takes more than talent and skill. To be great, it also takes heart, determination, the willingness to fight the best, and the ability to beat them. She's a legend, a big, big staple in the sport and a pioneer in MMA. Over the course of her UFC career, this fighter has done that and more, taking the sport to a new level in the process. She's been a world champion in multiple weight classes. She's made a ton of money, and she's achieved everything she'd ever wanted. There is no question that she is the greatest of all time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Unfortunately, I didn't do this as a stream. I decided it would be much, much better to actually do this as a video. I really enjoyed watching back on a lot of these fights, thinking back on them. So many tough fights in the streak and literally all of them ended in a KO, TKO. I m might make a video about some of the fights, like some of the fights were insane. For example, fights that ended in the third round and didn't end within fucking seconds of the first round. What was the most ridiculous one? 19 seconds? Was there one that's even better than that? Oh yeah, 12 seconds, of course. So 32-0, incredible career, managed to do it on pro difficulty just like I wanted to. You can believe that or not, it's up to you, doesn't matter to me, honestly. This was entirely for me. I finally learned to play the game a bit better, managed to beat it in pro difficulty clearly. You know, in the women's division, but honestly I had so many saves loaded up, it didn't really matter. I was going to try until I got it done. Uh, let me get, uh, let me know if you guys want to see any of the more interesting fights. I'll probably end up doing a video or two anyway, since I still have all the footage I was editing for like a week while I was doing this. And honestly, I really enjoyed the ride, but I'm probably not going to do a legendary difficulty career, because that sounds fucking insane. The amount of times my opponents had insane stat advantages. Those are the third round KOs where I was so outgunned on stats that I couldn't do anything. I had to basically <laughs> bite down on the mouthpiece and do my best to survive. I thought I, w I would have to get some decisions, but eventually that spinning head kick always got my opponents. So many of the knockouts were using that kick. I fucking love that kick, if you couldn't tell. I love striking, if you couldn't tell that either. Maybe eventually I'll go back to this and try to become a grappler just to be a more complete fighter. But moving forward, I don't expect too many more UFC videos. I s uh, accomplished what I set out to do. I could always get into the online aspect of it. But honestly, moving forward, I'm thinking about a few other games, so it's probably going to be a while before I come back to the UFC. In any case, I always love MMA, love to talk about it, love to play the game, love to watch the fights. So if you want to chat about that, feel free to hit me up on Discord. Thanks as always for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this movie-esque video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.